this event at a major international meet, the 2009 Worlds, when she finished in seventh. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see how much that 200 freestyle affected her. You know, as you get older, it does, the body does take more time to recover, and at 30 years of age, it's going to be tough to come back and have that sprint-like feeling in a 50. But if anybody can do it, Amanda Weir can. Number of Americans in this one, Natalie Labage in lane one. She'll be toward the top of your screen, 21 years old out of North Carolina. Then Maddie Lopez, 23 years old out of the USA. Beryl Gastaldello of France in lane three. Kylie Perry in lane four, 18 years old out of Norwalk, Connecticut. Freshman this year at NC State. Michelle Williams of Canada in lane five. Kristen Malone of the U.S. In lane number seven, Milwaukee, Wisconsin native, a junior this year at Texas A&M, Kayla Sanchez, the 15-year-old from Canada, in lane eight, but Amanda Weir in lane six, three-time Olympian, 2004, 2012, 2016, and four Olympic medals, all in relays. By the way, Roddy, you know she'd love to get that individual medal if she can, but 30 years old now. And that means she's gonna be 34 when she gets to Tokyo, if she gets to Tokyo, that's a tall order to ask, but it's been done. We saw Anthony Irvin do it in the 50 freestyle, becoming the oldest male Olympic gold medalist, 35 years old. In lane five, Michelle Williams of Canada heading toward the finish here in the 53. Williams in the white cap in lane five, and she has the win here by a half second. Oh, let's see, less than that. 35 one hundredths over Kylie Perry, the 18-year-old from the USA in lane five, just above her. Michelle Williams, 26 years, years old out of Toronto. 2016 was her Olympic debut. She was a bronze medalist for Canada, swimming in the prelims of the 400 free. Well, again, the 50 freestyle is all about the start. The reaction on the start is critical. There's Michelle Williams. Watch her as she enters that pool. She has to have that perfect entry. You see how little bit of a weight that she provides. You want to enter through that same hole. And then in a 50 freestyle, really tough to breathe. You really shouldn't have to take a breath at this level. Some do, some may take one, some may take two. Michelle Williams has not breathed yet. Here she comes down the stretch there. And right now looking pretty good, only two swimmers that have ever broken 25 in this field. She's one of them. She gets close there, 25-1. And Michelle Williams join us, 25.16. You happy with that time tonight? Yeah, that's pretty solid for January, so I'm happy with it. <laughs> Hard to tell on the replay, but I think you did not take a breath. Did you take one? No, that was my first time doing a long course, 50 free, no breath, so. Yeah. Uh, check, check that off the list. <laughs> How difficult is that? Is that something that you practice and normally were you taking one breath or two and then all of a sudden you go to zero? Yeah, I'm used to doing one breath long course, but this, this season I've done some short course 50s with no breath, so I wanted to try it long course. And we talked earlier with Hillary Caldwell about the future for this Canadian Olympic team and you at uh, 26 years old. What do you think the future is for this Canadian team? Oh my gosh, it's so exciting just having so many uh, young and up-and-coming up uh, swimmers coming up and the future is very bright for Canadian swimming and it's so great to be a part of it. All right, congratulations on the win here tonight. Thank you so much. Michelle Williams of Canada wins the 50 free and Kylie Perry of the U.S. second. Natalie Labange, 21 years old, a senior this year at NC State, finishes in third. We've got the men's 50 free and a focus on Matt Grievers coming up here in Austin. <laughs> 